Stop right there. Huh? I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah. And what am I to make of you? Me? I am your execution. Kuro Yeah! Zangetsu. Ah, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us, at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. <sighs> I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam, and nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east, in the tumult of a decade ago. Perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. 
Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. Wait a minute. Are you human? Uh, what does it look like? I I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, oh, the name's Benjamin. Uh, I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I oh, know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? This... this here helped me escape? Yes. Picture your house. And don't let go of that thought. Alright, alright, I'll try it. I think it worked.
myself and my shadow! I'm a good killer, Barber. Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but, but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there? Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? 
I'll catch you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you. Cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm. I really could. All right. You have a deal. <sighs> so, miss, shall I take a little off the top? <laughs> A shame.
both myself and my shadow! Arise, myself and my shadow! Arise, myself and my shadow! Arise, myself and my shadow! Oh, <laughs> oh, 